my god. Okay. Alright guys, day three, Fox River, 2018. I don't even know what day it is, it's like March 25th or something like that. Uh, about 9, 8.30 in the morning, something like that. Caught a pile of fish yesterday. Uh, bite's been pretty good. It sounds like guys are trolling and getting them. Um, guys are casting and catching them. So we're gonna try it today. We actually have a nice fishable day out for once. It's like, I don't know, it's not really that warm, but it's sunny and no wind, so it feels like it's really nice out. So we're still gonna stay on the hunt for that big bite and see what happens. Well guys, we are hooked up. This is fish number, what is this, number four? Yes. Number four of the day. Another one about 20, 21. Kind of a slower bite today. We're not getting a ton of fish really thumping the jig. And you'll see that sometimes, some days you'll be popping it, getting the bites. Other days you'll kind of be getting the bites when they come right off bottom. Another nice one though. We're gonna go ahead and let that guy go. Let's see if we can't get a few more. Right, we are hooked up again. Just let that other fish go. Second cast after that. These fish kind of run in schools out here, and a lot of times they get into kind of a whole bunch of at the same time. Kind of both look like that. There we go. Another one on the swim bait. Come on, buddy, don't bite my tail off. There he goes. Another one. Nice one. Big fish, guys. Nice little chunky one. Oh I'm gonna put her back. There he goes. Well, we are back out. My friends Ryan and Amanda have left me. We are doing something a little bit different tonight. We are gonna be night trolling. Um, water temps are 40 slowing way down. I uh, got a couple of husky jerks out and a flicker shad. Um, we're gonna crawl around real slow up shallow tonight and hopefully get a couple of big bites. This is a great technique to get some of these bigger bites and cover a lot of these bigger shallow water flats. So we'll give it a try, see what happens. Not the ones we are trolling for. Right kind, wrong size. Well, as you can see, uh, night trolling did not pan out. As I did catch a ton of fish, I did not catch any of the right ones. Um, after you saw me catch that little one, I caught about 20 more like that. Tried deeper, tried shallow, tried slowing down, tried smaller baits, bigger baits, lots of small ones. I'm sure someone pounded some big fish last night, but I did not. Um, it's very rarely just guiding 24 seven around the clock in northern Wisconsin, it's very rare for me to fish somewhere where I don't know like all the small details of stuff, uh, which is one thing I really miss about fishing, is just being able to kind of get on a body of water I've never been on and uh, pick it apart. That's my favorite part about fishing, and it's something I really miss, just having to guide every single day, um, or most of the time up in Hayward, Wisconsin. So we're gonna probably do a little more trolling today. Uh, it's a super nice day, it's Monday right now. We're gonna run up river, Work some shallows with some jigs and plastics. Uh, if nothing's happening super shallow, I might uh, pull some cranks and stuff, but we'll see what happens. It's my last day. I gotta go back to Hayward tonight and uh, shoot some ice fishing stuff this week. Then I'll be back down here on Thursday. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Well, we're hooked up on number one. I don't think it's a real big one, but it doesn't feel too bad. Not a bad one to start. Fishing some shallow gravel. Ah, we can probably boat flip him. He's the barely boat flippable size. There he is. Up here in like six feet of water, shallow gravel. A lot of the river sand, but uh, you find some of these gravel spots and a lot of times it can be the difference maker between catching a few and catching a lot. 
hooked up. Right next to the boat. That's a little step in the right direction. Been kind of a slower bite today, but we're still getting plenty of them. I don't know how many I've caught. This is probably, it's probably about a 20 inch fish. That's definitely going the right way. Real scattered out here, pretty calm today. Water is just all the same temperature pretty much everywhere. We'll take it though. We'll get him back and see if we can't grab a few more. All right, one thing we haven't talked about yet is uh, rod and reel setup. It's really pretty simple. If you follow me on Facebook, if you don't, you definitely should. But if you do, um, I've been fishing St. Clair rods for a long, long time. And uh, there's some rods, well, the reason St. Clair rods is what it is, they obviously make great rods, but they make them at a ton of different price points. So whether you're looking for a you know, $100 stick, all the way up to a $600 rod, you can find it with St. Croix, you can fish bass, well, I mean everything under the sun from freshwater to saltwater. That's kind of what makes St. Croix so unique in my opinion. The other thing is customer service is absolutely unreal. I live about an hour away from uh, Park Falls, which is where they're made. And uh, you know, you go up there with the brokens, get them swapped out right in the store, and you walk out with new rods. But one of my favorite multi-species jig rods, uh, it's actually a Mojo Bass. It's one of their bass lineups. This is a 6.9, I think the ones this year might be a 6.10 or they might be a 6.9, I'm not really sure on that. They're 6.9, this is like their drop shot model. It's a medium light, extra fast action. I'll use this for almost all of my jigging wrap applications, or jigging wrap applications and light jig applications from an eighth to a quarter. Um, even, I'll even fish a 3 eighths on here if I'm not in real heavy cover, if I'm ripping like a real big jig through heavy weeds then I'll go up to the next a little bit heavier weight. Um, but that 6.9 is an absolutely unbelievable stick for the money. It's like a $160 rod, I believe. Um, and it fishes like a much more expensive rod. And they redid these rods, I believe, two years ago. And uh, so if you fished a, a Mojo Bass maybe like five, six, seven years ago, um, and you thought it was a decent rod, but maybe not what you're looking for, they've redone these rods and they're, they're an unbelievable stick. Although they're a bass lineup, I use this rod for almost all my wall application jigging jigging stuff um, you know pair that with a, a smaller spinning reel whether it's a thousand size or a 2500 size whatever it is put some 10 pound braid on there tie on a you know this is dirty water out here so we're not really too concerned about the fish seeing it but if you do snag up I always tie on a couple of feet of uh, a lead with a uni knot either 10 pound 12 pound whatever it is fluorocarbon and you're good to go for almost any jigging application pretty much anywhere on the planet for walleye fishing We are hooked up. Doesn't feel too bad. Fish are real scattered today for whatever reason. Done a whole bunch of side imaging and just pulled up on this school. Not a bad one. Here we go. Well, I don't know if that's the last one I'll catch today, but I do have to unfortunately go home pretty soon. Get him out of here. And I truly hope you guys have enjoyed watching some of the uh, the start of the Green Bay walleye fishing here. Get him out. There we go. There's another decent one. I'll get him back. But I will be chasing the Green Bay pre-spawn bite until its end. Um, hopefully the bay opens up here pretty soon because that's ideally where I would like to be. Um, but if we got to fish the fox for another couple weeks, it is what it is. I'll be actually back here on Thursday night uh, fishing and then be here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe Monday. Um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully we get some water moving around. We need some rain, need some warm weather to really get things all fired up, I think. But uh, yeah, truly hope you guys have enjoyed watching some of the first open water fishing I have done the entire season. I'm going to go back to Hayward tonight and maybe shoot some stuff on the ice this week. Who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have not already, please stay tuned for more. Follow Tom Bully Fishing on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Tom Bully on YouTube. We'll see you guys tomorrow.